Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live action from the Liga Portugal. It's Benfica facing Braga. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. That's useful play. It didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Well, the fact of the matter is the home side lead the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. Oh, they, they could put it away, Stuart. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. I must say, this looks promising. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Joao Mario a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in they've lost possession Benfica Bar. going well crossing opportunity must be a oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. But he's gone short with it. Can he take advantage? There it is. Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Rafa, well the supporters think it's on and it goes a three goal cushion and you truly sense it's a matter of how many well here it is again and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line but I think the keeper has made a mistake here while it's a decent finish it should go in at that near post Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Just the challenge that was required. Oh. 
Rafa. And here's Joao Mario. Can they convert? Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. They take it short. Chance here. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Medeiros, Ali Musrati, an unforced error, you've got to say. Well, there you have it. Benfica have controlled most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Rafa. And with it, Joao Mario. Rafa, and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it's so far so good for the hosts. Well, we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game, and it's been the same old story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents, and clinical when they've had the chances too. I just can't see there being a response, if I'm honest. And the contest begins. I must say, this looks promising. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. And so the second half commences here. Well, it was one-way traffic in the first half. They're going to need all their time if they have designs on a comeback. Can he put it away? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Gomez Ali Musrati and intercepts again Frederick Aursnes Grimaldo 
The supporters want to see him have a go. And good work to deny the chance. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Trying to pick out a teammate. Run a bit short with the clearance. Can he finish? Closing down well. Gets in the way once more. And the ball is loose. Well, that's the end of that for now. Great effort to keep that one in play. A danger here as he runs at them. goes down as an own goal by the keeper well as you can see there's not much he can do about that he's so unlucky but it goes down as an own goal Twenty minutes to go in this one. Ramos, Frederik Aursnes, moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. A short corner cutting in what can he do from this position and no nonsense defensive clearance well beating his opponent surely couldn't quite hang on and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again <laughs> And a short corner, let's see. David Neves able to get a body in the way. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Now sending it in. And he succeeds in striping it off the line. Beautifully disguised ball. Could it be? On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Draxler. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. But he's gone short with it.